Transylvania is an ATV safety game that explores safety content that kids who've never been exposed to ATVs would never know. Our target audience was kids ranging from 8 to 18, boys and girls, and specifically we were looking to reach kids that weren't particularly interested in ATVs. We worked with content specialists and we found that uh, most of the preventable ATV accidents weren't from people who had experience with ATVs or grew up with ATVs, but they're from people who like, go to grandma's house or people who go over to a friend's house, people who don't think that they're going to be riding an ATV, so they're not prepared for it. You know, ATVs are not toys, they're vehicles, and if kids don't understand that, they can get in accidents and get really hurt. To make a good game, we try and immerse ourselves in the content. We work with content experts, we try and learn the material ourselves, we even took ATV riding courses, learn everything we can about the subject matter before we start making the game. That makes us better when we develop the game because we know how to draw them. We know how easy it is to look at it and think it's a toy and then get on it and realize how hard it is to steer or to come to a hill and realize I have no idea how to climb up this hill. So those are things that we really captured when it was time to decide what we needed to teach in the game. We did not want to make a game that just put you on an ATV and gave you a big list of things not to do. Um, so we decided to put the game into a fantasy setting with lots of monsters and an evil vampire who's trying to force you into dangerous situations. It's not actually about the ATVs. The learning is really embedded into the gameplay. There is one portion in Transylvania where you are chasing a rock monster who trashes the trail and you have to go on after him and clean up the trail in order to safely pursue him. Um, and it just really, it teaches you the lesson of of riding clean trails is riding a safe trail. What I really love about the graphic style in this game is how edgy and dark it is. It's not your typical educational game. I think the monochromatic scheme gave it a real stylized graphic novel -y look and that's exactly what we're trying to achieve is a interactive graphic novel adventure. It's something that I think will really key on kids' imaginations and make them interested in a topic that they wouldn't normally be interested in. We did a lot of user testing and we found that boys and girls loved the graphics of the game. The setting, the stories, um, the gameplay, all of them just drew the kids in. And that's important because it means that the kids are going to play the game through to the end and learn everything that we want them to learn out of this game. It's an efficient way to communicate this knowledge. 20, 30 minutes, the kids can play it and they get everything they need to out of the game. So it's not only a good example of what we do here in the Learning Games Lab, but it's a good example of really what games can do. This project was a really great project to work on because we got to explore new types of content, character, illustration, things that kids like, you know, that are fun for ourselves. And we also are making something that makes a real difference.